I know quite a few of you guys have been waiting on it and the wait is over, Baby Blue is here. What's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today we got 27 mods to take a look at. For all platforms, we got 19 new and 3 updates. And for PC and Mac players, we've got 5 new. I also make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub. So get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss any. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the New Holland Agriculture T4 Series from Pepe978. Oh, I've been waiting to see this one. We did a first look on this, what feels like months ago at this point, but it is finally here. 75 horsepower, manual transmission, 90 liters of fuel, 24 mile per hour max speed, and it weighs 2.8 tons. Also, it's going to be eight slots on console, so very low slot count there. Customization options, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental Midas, Vridstein, and Nucky and Tires. So lots of stuff through there. We do have some wide tires and narrow tires. All kinds of stuff, just choose what you like. As far as your design goes, we've got a standard design, we've got the protection guard that goes to the back, or you could go with a cabin option as well. So yes, you can go with a cabin version of the T4. I think this is gonna make everyone happy. We've also got different front loaders. So we've got the stole front loader on here, we've got the quickie, or nothing. So one neat thing is we have the stole front loader. I love seeing that option on here. That's really cool. Engine setup, so we got a 75 horsepower, 85 and a 96 horsepower engine so 96 horsepower in this not too bad at all we've even got different rim colors we got white gray and black yes you could go with black if you want to that is so cool i'm so happy to see this mod finally here yesterday we got our first force red tractors and today well, we got some more for you guys three more as a matter of fact this is the 300 and 303 pack now this is not from AAA modding uh, i don't know how to say the name of this modder but it exists yeah it exists uh these are going to be 150 horsepower manual transmission 225 liters of fuel 26 miles an hour 5.4 tons this specific version right here is going to be 14 slots as far as the rest of them this one is going to be 16 slots and then we have a 15 slot version right here as well different engine options and different customization options to round out everything between the three we've got a 200 kilogram front weight 300 400 500 and back to standard again equipment we got the rotating beacon we got the striving the grid mud flaps striving and all of that together choose whatever you like we'll set up so you've got a standard you got a wheel weight I don't know what to say. That's not English. <laughs> I thought this would be translated by now. Uh, we've also got different colors here as well, which uh, I think should be mentioned don't appear to match whatsoever with the other Force Ridden mod. As far as your design goes, well, we've got different stuff through here, but even if I change this to red, I have a hard time finding exactly what it's changing. Oh, it's the front weight. Interesting. Uh, we have very, very similar customization options throughout the rest of the range as well. You can change up the engine on a few of these as well, which is kind of cool. We've even got this uh, wide tire with Chunky Boy on the outside of it too, which is kind of neat. And then if we come down in here, well, we've got similar stuff, at least for weights. We've got the same thing with the beacons and everything like that. Different engine options, 9,800 horsepower. And we even have the same wheel options as well. Next, we've got the Klaus Tucano pack from MLOD98. So they are here along with their headers, which came out a couple weeks ago, which is great to see. Now you can use everything in one. We've got two different combine harvesters. I guess we got the 300 and the 400. They're both 17 slots, so nothing crazy to worry about there. The 300's got 245 horsepower, variable transmission, 500 liters fuel, 18 miles an hour, 7,500 liter capacity, weighs 13.6 tons. Wheel options, Trelleborg, Michelin tires, Continental, Midas, Bridestine. There you go through there. It doesn't look like we've got track options. I was hoping to find a couple track options through here, but uh, none to be found. The engine, we can go from a uh, 245 to 286 horsepower engine. And then as far as here goes, pretty similar stuff all the way around, except this one has an 8,500 liter capacity. Wheel options are exactly the same and our engines are going to be a little bit different. So if we go all the way to the bottom at 420, so we have a uh, 245, 282, 86, and 313 horsepower engines. From Creative Mesh, we've got their Limkin Solidaire DT. This bad boy right here holds 5,100 liters of seed and fertilizer, weighs 9.1 tons, is very heavy, 
200 horsepower required, six meter working with at 10 miles an hour. And it's gonna be, get this, 23 slots. So extremely slot heavy on here. Creative Mesh always do a really fine job with their mods, so you know it's good. Just a little bit high high uh, quality on console, that's all. And uh, yeah, there's zero customization, not a bit. But it is a direct drill, which is very, very nice. And you can see at the bottom, those are all of the crops that it will seed. Goldhoffer is back with the STZ Special Low Loader. This is from Woodcraft Modding. I've been doing a lot of stuff recently. Very, very impressed with the level of work that got, those guys are putting in. So this is going to weigh 8.6 tons, and it's really, at the end of the day, just a trailer. You can use this for taking logging equipment or, or kind of whatever you want to put on here. You can do whatever you like as long as it fits your budget. Five slots on this on console wheel brands. We've got Lizard and Continental. Design, we've got without sidewalls, with sidewalls, and then... Back and forth between those. Main color, you can change this up. We do have a bunch of custom colors up here, which is really cool to see. We've got some kind of Goldhofer blue stuff, which is nice. We also got the regular Goldhofer blue if you just use the base game color. And then lots of lots of rim color options here as well. It's kind of one of those, choose whatever you like. I think I'm gonna go with red, yeah. From the modder Henry NDF, we have their Agromass POV pack. Now this comes with two plows. We've got two very small plows. They are what they are. First one is going to be 1.6 tons, 130 horsepower required, two meter working width, so nothing too crazy there. It's seven miles per hour. If we bump out, yep, two miles there, uh, two meters right there. This one is five slots, five slots on both of these, by the way. Configurations, you've got the skimming bodies, yes or no. We've also got the cutting knives on here, yes or no. I'm trying to figure out what's changing. Ah, right at the very front of that. And then we'll set up, you could change this up just a little bit as well between a couple different Trelleborg. Uh, standard tire, which I think is also, oh, nope, that's BKT. And then you could choose a Midas tire if you would like. Similar options right here on the POV3 XL. The only difference is this one requires a little bit less horsepower with 100 down from 130 and has a 1.5 meter working width. Otherwise, everything else is the same. Your next mods from Agrar Modding, the Allo Front Loader Tools. And here we have quite a few different things you can see. We've got three different multi grabs. I think we've got four or five buckets and the pallet forks on here as well. Everything's two slots, so keep that in mind. Um, pallet forks, well, normal pallet forks, they do look to be adjustable, so that's nice. See, again, these are all for front loaders. We've got our bucket. We could do either a uh, trimmer. We've got the quickie set new, which doesn't look to be anything. And then we've got an old version as well. Uh, this is going to hold 540 liters. We also want to 650, 720, 820, uh, and 950 liters. As far as the multi-grab versions right here, we've got one that'll hold 800, 900, and 1,000 liters. So hope you're not moving a whole lot of stuff because these will not hold a whole lot. Next, we've got one that is really, really cool. This is the tool bell, the perfect bell fork for moving larger amounts of bells. Due to the transport mode, it can also be safely carried on road trips as well. You can see it folded up right here. This is from TC3D, weighs 400 kilograms, and we've got short forks or long forks, so you can get like, you know, two or three sets of bells in there. Attacher, we've got the tail handler and the wheel loader. We also have a front loader as well, although if you pick up a bunch of bells with a front loader, be careful, make sure you got some weight on the back of it. Main color, all of them. Let's we'll go with the white to show you guys, and design color, yeah, let's go with green. So those are gonna be your tines. This is three slots only. It's not too bad. Next mod from Nico Picks is the Stone Bucket. Now these are going to be in the Stone Picker category and we've got different versions. We have 600, 800, and 900 uh, liter versions, telehandler, three-point universal interface, which will do pretty much everything. And then back to a telehandler as well. This is a really cool thing, especially if you're running three-point because you could take, you know, one of these, for example, take the largest one, hook it on a three-point, and then put it on the front of your tractor. Maybe your tractor is a cloth tractor. Well, we'll just go with the cloth green right here. You can lower this down, pick up the rocks that are in front of you, lift it up, and then go from there. So this is going to give you guys that want to do stone picking, but you don't want to spend the money on the equipment, an easy solution. Because these are about $659, $759, and $879. Super cheap, very cool. 
Oh yeah, and they're two slides each. Next, from Blend to Art, we have the Lizard VNB14. This is really just a small bell trailer. You can put kind of whatever you want in here. It doesn't really matter. It'll hold kind of whatever you throw in it, really. Uh, it's meant to be a bell trailer though, which will hold 14 round bells at least normally. If you're like me, well, you may have a little bit of fun with it. It does weigh 1.6 tons, so it's not that bad. You can pull it with pretty much anything. Will Brands on here, we do have a few. Trelleborg, Michelin, Reinstein, and Nokia and tires. We also have different setups for those as well. The floor, you can add a normal floor and our iron, or you can even do a rubber floor if you would like. That's kind of neat or nothing altogether. Main color, they've given us options here. We'll just go with a light gray, but here's your color palette. Ooh, you know what? This one's calling my name. Yeah. The floor color, of course, we can change that up, but it won't change unless we put something on it. It's only going to be the iron one that changes. And of course, we have a bunch of rim colors here as well. Trying to see if we've got, uh, no, it doesn't look like we've got any chrome, but we do have these Fortress colors. So if you're using a Fortress trailer, this might be the one to go with. From Steven Manning, we have a three meter cultivator. I really need a button for that. A three meter cultivator. No customization, it doesn't look like. Nope. Zero. 1.8 tons, 140 horsepower is required. Three meters nine miles per hour it's gonna be three slots on consoles we also have a new potato harvester for all platforms today this is the grimmy evo 290 from agrario this bad boy right here is going to be 19 slots so heads up 19 slots right off the bat this is 12,000 liter capacity for potatoes weighs 12.5 tons at least empty it does 200 horsepower required 1.5 meter working with at four miles per hour it's slow it is low and it is heavy but that's the way it is in real life. So perfectly fine with me. Will Brands, we got Trelleborg. We also have BKT on there, Reinstein as well. All good things. Also from Stevie Modding, we have their Amazon Castro 6002. Now, heads up, because we already have a 6002, and but it, it's got the, the thing in it. This one, this one, this one doesn't have the thing in it. The designs, uh, well, I would say the same, but it's like both of them, but one mod. Is what it is either way uh by the self this was actually my favorite cultivator to use in farming simulator 17. fun fact from dj for the day uh 2.8 tons 180 horsepower required six meters at 10 miles an hour it's gonna be six slots here's the mod that i think dropped a little bit later in the farming simulator 19 lifespan and it's here for 22 now the fent 1250 kilogram weight well we've got a 2,500 kilogram weight on here as well. Can't forget about that one, can you? Nope, one slot each. Main color, you could change these up to whatever color you want. They do come with the uh, base Agco color, but you could change it up. Again, uh, 1.3 and 2.5 tons respectively. We've got this extension on here as well, but just heads up, they don't do anything. That rope does nothing. Just looks cool, that's all. We do have a couple placeable mods as well for all platforms, five of them in fact. This first one is the diesel tank. This bad boy right here is from Farmer22. Placeable diesel tank for your farm to store and use your fuel. So we can come over here, let me go. Uh, we come over here, it looks like it holds 4,000 liters. So we'll go ahead and buy 4,000 liters of fuel to use here and we can fill up from it. It's for your farm. I think this is really, really cool. Check out the design of this. I think this is gonna fit perfectly on anybody's farm. Next up from Omatana, we've got our large silo multi-fruit. And uh, well, it's not just those two. There's actually, uh, I think what, five? Yeah, these things are absolutely massive. <laughs> she says, do you need a really big silo for your farm or even several of them? Then you'll definitely be happy with these large silos. Why? Because, well, the largest one holds 50 million liters. <laughs> I got nothing else, no other way to put that. Oh, that hurts inside. That feels so good. A uh, large silo system right here is going to be 20 million liters. By the way, these are multi-fruits, so throw whatever you want to in them. We've got the silo medium right here, 15 million liters. And the large one, 50 million liter capacity. Yeah, indeed. We've also got a silo extension large, another 50 million liter extension. And then uh, we've got the silo extension small. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, uh, online, it does say that the large expansion is uh, 20 million liters. Am I loading up the wrong thing? No. Um, yeah, it says that it's 20 million liters for the large one and that it's 10,000, but this is more and more. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Ooh, love spinning that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
get out of here. Your next one is so big that I had to put it away from everything else and create a new area here on the test map. The Brazilian Mega Silo from Lost Gamer. Said to store all types of crops. Very large silo uh, where you'd have a large space to put it. You're going to need it. Uh, it does paint down this color and then it puts this grass on the inside. So just heads up. You can, you know, change all that up later. But that's the way it's going to start. As far as everything else, it's $250,000 and only holds 5 million liters. So compared to Omatanas, this is pretty large for not as holding as much. Otherwise, this would have been absolutely epic. Well, before today. <laughs> Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the flower pots pack from Triangles to Red Bull. Yeah, so this is a bunch of uh, flower pots, basically. <laughs> they will change with the season, so that is nice as well. And the reason they change with the season is because they are, well, they're all base game. They just made them into placeables. So what they've said is these flower pots and uh, plants have been taken from all the base game maps and made into placeables so you can decorate your farm however you like. We've got an icy winter look included. And there you go. If you'd like to find these, well, don't go into your store. Go into your build mode and go to decoration, then go to others, and you'll find everything you need to right here. And lastly, as if we didn't have enough bridges as it was already, you got more. Um, as far as I could tell, we have literally all of these already. They are causing some wonderful lag, which is great. Uh, yeah, it's just another bridge pack with bridges that we literally already have. Ta-da! All right, let's round out our updates today for all platforms with some well, some updates, I guess. The changelog for the Klaus Tractor Pack is going to be Q8 Ilm support. Feed adjusted when folded, all right. We've also added the Arian 600 warning signs, added the Axian 900 warning signs, the model adaptations for the Arian 600 and 800, license plate positions adjusted, color selections adjusted. So now the correct color will be displayed at longer distances. I believe these, like other things, would just turn like a like a weird either red or blue or gray, something odd like that. But it's that wasn't a problem just with these. That happens with a lot of stuff. And also, position of the type has been design adjusted. Oof, either I'm bad at reading or this was not translated English. From the same honor, we've got a very similar update to the Fent 300 Vario as well. We've got their decals fix, add a power profile and profile plus variants, and fix visual bugs. And your last update for all platforms today is gonna be the Kvernland TLX Geo Spread Pack, not the regular TLX, you, you guys know. Uh, what have they done? Well, they've added the old version. This is just the regular TL Geo Spread, 1,728 and 3,900 liter capacity. Mud guards, yes or no. Attachers, we could do the trailer hitch if you would like. We've even got a cover on there and you could throw on some transport wheels. These are basically the exact same options that you would have seen in Farming Simulator 17 and 19 from the K brand, um, the, the fertilizer spreader thing that we had then. Yeah. Lastly today, let's go into new mods for PC and Mac players. The first one's gonna be the Polish Fertilizers Bag 50L. This is a single bag with fertilizer. You can carry it in your hand. I think the Polish Fertilizer Bags have been kinda overdone but hey it is what it is this one's gonna cost you 95 bucks and it's 50 liters next up is proceed from wobster this adds a bundle of functionality to enhance the sewing machines in your game with the mod you're able to create trim lines with optional pre-emergence markings half side shut off for creating the perfect trim lines fertilizer shut off and active feedback with sounds in order to use the auto mode the guidance steering mod is required that's also from wobster as well for more information you can check it out on their github hub that is linked in the mod hub we've also got the variable forage wagon capacity with a modern forage wagon the loaded goods can be compressed and therefore the overall capacity will increase with this mod the functionality is available in farming simulator 22 as well all default forage wagons are already prepared and ready to use but you can also add your own if you would wish you can use the keyboard and mouse uh, f1 menu and that'll give you all of the functionality and controls that you need to know our next to last mod today is the easy change transmission type this is a script that allows you to change the transmission type except for vehicles with a cvt transmission is going to be done directly on the keyboard input versus having to go into the game settings this change is a global setting the gear shift mode in the settings page for all manually shifted vehicles by default selecting the gear shift mode to automatic will cause all vehicles to be shifted automatically including vehicles that are shifted manually in real life 
With this script, you can distinguish between the modes automatic and manual, as well as manual with clutch, without having to switch to the settings page every time. And your last mod today, this is the fill level warning mod. This will fill up and reach a uh, warning sound when you hit 50% and 80%, and a single tone will be heard. Fill level has reached 80%, the beacon lights are also activated, which should help you guys out when running multiplayer. Well guys, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the Goham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of videos here on the channel, we've got the Farm Sim News and Antonio Carrero Pack DLC first look videos that have already been released today. One of those didn't go to boxes, so just heads up there. We also have a live stream later today with Driver 53. No Farm Sim show today, but we're still going to give you something really cool. So stay tuned. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.